two, a, a. <clears throat> check, check, check. Okay, and I am back again. Okay, so apparently I have to run this game in a window to not get the screen flashing black. Isn't that wonderful? Um, so, where did my pop out? Pop out. Pop out. Okay, so. At least it looks somewhat good for you guys. For me, I just have a big title bar up on the top. <clears throat> Nothing I can do about it. Um, I guess I'm just gonna, if I want to play this game, this is what I'm gonna have to do. I have had so much problems with, um, with, I can't get full screen gaming to work in Windows 10 anymore for some strange reason. Everything is always, just playing around with my chat window, so in case anybody shows up, I can actually, like, maybe see what they're saying. Okay, so, let's get back to where we were before. Single player. See, it's not flashing black anymore. This is marvelous. Uh, setup game. We're gonna keep Mercury. We're gonna yeah, just normal. Moderate. Yeah, we'll just go with normal. If I continue playing this here and such, maybe I'll work my way up the, uh, uh, I'll work my way up the difficulties until I'm playing on Apollo. Help me, God. It'll be a quick game, won't it? Okay, so... God, where go? There we go. Okay, so we're going to accept this. Okay, so back to where I was before. Where when I clicked this, it was turning black. Okay, so... We have a whole bunch of different sponsors. Let's see, I did this one before. Because the first wonder built in every city I mean that is is such a nice ability um Franco Iberia game one or two I'm not gonna go with this I've I've done this in Alpha Centauri actually I've played the uh, the sea-based uh, civilizations and it's fun but it also really limits your um, your expansion I don't know if they do the same thing here, but in that game, you could only expand out to like the eight squares all around you. Um, eight, yeah, kind of like that. Um, here, I, it might go further than that there and such, but it really kind of limited uh, certain things when deal, dealt with kind of influence and such. Uh, we're not going to do the covert operations. You know, it is fun to kind of work on things like that. Um, let's see. We have the. Federation. Uh, all orbital units. No, we're not going to deal with orbital units right now. Chengshu. Free co more covert. Free trade slots. This is kind of nice. Because um, I was getting limited with my trade routes. Um, uh, last game that I played. Um, Clara reduced. Integer. My movement cost 50%. Okay. You know. We're gonna go back up here. We can either do this one here or um, it's kinda of limited. I mean really it's you know, we're gonna go back with the Pan Asian. I just it's a nice kind of uh it's a really um it's just a good ability in there that's either this you know let's do let's go with Polystralia. Okay, so choose colonists. Um, early on in the game, um, I mean, science is great. I'm always big on kind of the science, kind of push the science kind of thing. Um, refugees, food is always good. Um, it deals with kind of starvation and everything on there. Aristocrats, uh, I don't usually have energy problems. Or production issues, I'm usually kind of patient and I can wait on those things. So no, artist, artist is good because culture is awesome. Mm -hmm. Do we have the cultural route? Yeah, well, we have trade. The trade routes. Let's go with the artists. Let's go with the artists. Yeah, why not? Choose a spacecraft. I don't remember this. I don't remember this. Um, 
Okay, rebuild coasts on map. That seems to be kind of cheating a bit, though it does make sense that we came from space and we would have mapped the planet before we sent landing. Wider area for choosing where to land for city and additional visibility around starting area. That's kind of nice. It kind of slows the thrust coming in. Um, tectonic, petroleum, geothermal. Uh, reveal alien mess. We're just going to random on this one. I really don't care. I should just go through and do random on all of these. Choose cargo. I don't remember this from the last time I did this show. Uh, extra population. Uh, laboratory. Um, that's kind of nice, actually. Soldier unit, worker unit. Actually, this is a real nice kind of ability. And finally, rescan for planets. Okay, so we have an arid Terran world, so we have some large land masses, which is always a nice thing to do. Um, kind of especially since it might lead to some early clash between some of the other uh, colonies, um, and kind of allow a, a good spread of things on there. We have primordial, one ocean and one very large continuous land mass. Atlantean world, uh, islands of various sizes, a random world. Or a custom world. Or I can go to advanced world. Um, you know what? Let's go random on this. Why not? Okay, so let's start. Let's see what happens. The Tahiti 2 project was one of Hutama's early victories. He made a different trillion dollar reclamation and reconstruction project would have never found the appropriate funding if not for Utama's support. As a show of gratitude, the people of Tahiti built a special marae for Utama's spacecraft and honored him with the title Ali'i. Ali'i. Ali I guess how that sounds like those. I apologize for butchering anyone's uh, culture as he said that there. Okay, let us... Hello, I'm the Advanced Integration and Simulation Resource. Hello, Hello, Advisor. I am equipped to introduce you to the basic systems that will guide your development on this new planet. Additionally, I can provide strategic advice based on situations you encounter. How would you like me to proceed? Um, I'm just going to be on Earth. If I'm not that new, let's go to advice. Select a suitable location for our people to make planet for. This will be the site of our first great city. Select a plot within the red border to land. Hmm. Okay, so what would we do? We want to definitely start on the coast. Coasts are good. Um, over here, this is nice because I have this, like, protected inlet here that I could actually, like, barricade, possibly. Um, what do we got over there? We've got some culture stuff. Okay, so let's see. This isn't that good. This is a good spot. That looks like alien spore things going on out there. Um, that's alien miasma. More miasma. Um, because this here, okay, good food there, food there, lots of food. Yeah, okay, this might be. This seems like a good spot. There we go. And here we come. Braxis. Freeland! Okay, so let me figure out. Oh, thank you, advisor. Okay, so let me figure out what I need to be doing. Okay, so we have a worker. And you can rotation. Okay, so I don't have the thing where I can clear miasma yet. Is that something that's going to be important? Uh, chop down the forest. Okay, so we need to choose research. Oh, we got some little uh, buggy guys over here, and it looks like we have a pod over there. So let's start by chopping down a forest. Oh, I don't really do that. Um, I could build a plantation. Oh, that's going to still take that away. So for remove the forest, can make more food. 
you both kind of do the same thing. I can build a road. I can build a general. All of these are going to clear the forest, so I guess I'm going to clear the forest. Let's go right to the plantation. Okay, so we got an explorer. And with an explorer module. Okay, so let's get out exploring. Okay, so expedition here. That seems to be a good place to start. There is also a resource pod up here. Uh, let's go over here first. I think I need to do right click. Yeah, there we go. Let's zoom out a bit. There we go. Um, I know I said it before on my last playthrough, but this game is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I need to choose production. Freeland, what are you going to build for me? Let us start by building an old earth relic. I don't know why I'm going to build that, but i get some capital and get some culture going. And my economic advisor likes that idea. <clears throat> oh my god, the science tree in this game. Okay. <clears throat> oh, bah, 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 bah. Okay, so I've started off with habitation. Um, pioneering allows me to build colonists. Actually, that's a, in trade convoys and a trade depot. I don't know what you are. I move city? Um, allows aquatic cities move on to ocean tiles. I can actually move the cities. That's insane. Um, okay, so that's right. We have the whole like purity and supremacy and harmony. I'm always I always tend to lean towards the harmony kind of thing. So that's what I think we're gonna work towards. Because we want to be friends with our alien neighbors, right? Um, but they're also the useful things. Okay. Do I have a science advisor? What does my science advisor recommend? Okay, we're gonna. Okay, so science advisor recommend. Okay, so my economic there. Military does that. My cultural advisor says ecology. What is it called? Vivarium. Ultrasound. Oh, actually, that might be kind of nice. Oh, okay, yeah. We're going to start with the ecology here. That's what we're going to work on. <laughs> Research away. Okay, so resource pod. Okay, that must be this. Yep, okay. Uh, more, re more resource pods. Maybe resource. Oh, got resource pods over there. And we've got a derelict settlement. Or, okay, so we got some good resource pods in here. I have a feeling I ended up in the Atlantean um, uh, one there and such. So we're gonna have we're gonna have this little island that we're gonna be able to kind of build up as our own, um, and then we'll venture forth maybe over to here. But yeah, so I'll have this, and I'll probably build like a city over on this side over here, take advantage of this out like right over here to take advantage of this algae and some progenitor ruins. So yeah, so we'll build like a city over here, over here. I wonder if I still get, I don't know if I still get like defensive bonuses by putting them on the hills. Okay, let's go on to our next turn. <laughs> and onward we go. Uh, next turn. Oh. Uh oh. My poor little, uh. Is it just me or does. It does look like curiosity. I wonder if that was a new. Ooh, I don't want to do it. Okay, next turn. Oh, man, well, okay, that doesn't make it happy. But we can. Five turns. Oh, will you live long enough there? Probably not. Let's move you over here. Okay, resource pod searched. Inside the resource pod, you found a collection of goods and luxuries from old Earth that your people never thought they would see again. These rally and refocus your people, providing 15 culture. Quest received. Okay, gifts from home. Our sponsor had the foresight to send resource pods ahead of our expedition. Find two resource pods. I just found one. Okay. Oh, look, it's a big fish. Hello, big fish. Alien sea dragon. Okay. Develop a bird. Okay, so now we're into our virtues. Um, let's see. Plus 10 science when healthy. 
that's actually pretty good. Um, actually, this is kind of like my equivalent of a granary, which is it's always useful. Let me go with this first time. Food is important right at the beginning. So we got our quests. Okay. dudes. I'm here too. Okay. Oh, we can dig you up. Um, yeah, let's go over here. Got some copper. That's kind of nice. Quest received. Okay. Your explorer has noticed something strange nearby. It could be a ruin, some sort of wreckage, or perhaps oh, alien in nature. You should order your explorer yeah, okay. to the site and excavate it to see if there is something worthwhile to be found. Okay, for our colony, we should consider expanding. We should focus on how to create new outposts. Okay, thank you. I got that. That's what we're going to do after we're done with ecology in 34 turns. Thank you. I don't need that. Okay, so we are going to construct an expedition here. What do we got over here? We got some xenomas, some miasma. Miasma, miasma. Um, what do we got here? Got some basalt. I need to get build a mine there. Okay, so how are you doing? Free land. Okay, so you're gonna like, border growth and eat turns. Oh, okay, sixty-five. Um, at this point, let's focus on science. Not really getting much of a difference that way, are we? Yep. Okay. Change production. Okay. Show. Ah, okay, there we go. I need the queue. I like my queue. Um, add the queue. We're going to add the clinic to the queue. And then, how about we build ourselves. We really need some protection, don't we? Um, let's see. Strength 10. Strength 15. Let's build a gun. Maybe a soldier. Okay. Get some defense going. Okay, next. Oh, next turn. Next turn. What are you guys? Alien wolf beetle. Oh. You don't look friendly. Freeland has grown. Yay! Good for you, Freeland. Um, that means you have two guys you can work. Yay! Built our relic, I think. We did build our relic. Nice. Can't really see it. Okay. point we don't know who they are develop a virtue yay um gain a free worker unit um science is good you're good um actually we need it this is good actually yes expedition yay discovered survivors hey that's always good Okay, thank you. Unit needs orders. You need orders. Yes, you do. 
we can build a generator over there. We can build a mine over here. Let's go to the mine. Well, one of the one again, one of my favorite things that they did in Civilization V is they finally got rid of the whole transport crap. You know, I think I've said this all before the last time I played this, but you know what? Oh well. Okay, so there's a resource pod over there. And there's a resource pod up there. Let me go down to this one. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna go there instead. Vanishers. That's the word they use. Vanishers. The shadowy devils that drag off our colonists' loved ones in the night. People say they're the size of bears, but with countless limbs and dead spider-like eyes. Those are the tales, anyway. All we know for sure is that citizens have been mysteriously disappearing from Freeland ever since it was founded. A few victims recently were discovered near a cave outside. Build one clinic. Okay, we're working on that. I am two turns away from that. And we are going to get rid of these beetles. Bye, wolf beetles. Okay. Gonna work on that as soon as I finish my ecology research. We're working on that with our explorer. And yes, I'm working on you too. So, hold your horses. And you are going to build a mine. Resource pod search. You have found a portable reactor and fuel source inside the resource pod. You are able to activate it, and despite some damage from landing, providing 50 energy. Huzzah! Okay. And that, because let's see. Here are my quests, aren't you? Uh, it gives from home. Okay, one that. Good. That counted. Now you're gonna go here. <laughs> do, 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 do. Resources, another resource spot. Come here. What? Oh, okay, that's the same thing. Quest decision. Okay, vanishers. Quest decision. Oh, because I made the, um, the clinic. The beasts are real, yells recovering victim Daniel Drake. Our efforts in Freeland have managed to revive the two survivors who were dragged from their homes seven nights ago. They snatched my boy, Sean, from his bed with a million spiny arms. I was in the kitchen and came running to his screams. A hundred tiny eyes and twenty mouths is all I saw before they were off with me, too. We may have a problem. Both drakes recall being dragged to a nearby cave where a dozen large aliens met as a pack. The group attempted to approach the drakes, but it was seemingly held at bay. At some point, I switched on my communication watch to try to call for help. The city's network didn't re the city's network don't reach that far. The city's net networks don't reach that far. But as soon as my watch was on, the bristly bastards stayed away. Drake Jr. chimed in. After a while, they all ran off. Later, we heard more screaming from the town. It seems that our fair new city may have an unfortunate location. We have two options now. We can attempt to ward these aliens off with an electromagnetic barrier. However, our best bet may be to bait, bait the vanishers with our own food to capture and study them more closely. Okay, so we have a choice to make here. Do we deter them or... Okay, so let's see. This is going to Okay, so this is going to continue towards harmony, which is the kind of thing that we want. Deter is going to continue towards purity continues towards supremacy this playthrough we're gonna we're gonna aim towards harmony um i think my next playthrough i'll go through something like um uh we'll go for like supremacy or uh, purity kind of wipe off the aliens make this make this a new home for earthlings and only earthlings but right now we'll do this we want everybody to get along it's 2018 okay <clears throat> quest objective received Besides having a clear appetite for colonists, we don't know much about the Vanisher's diet. Assuming they're after meat, we should dedicate some livestock to use as bait. It's a dangerous game, grunted an angry Drake. We built a city next to a pack of terrifying beasts. Oh, I know. Let's feed them. You, bu you, bu you bureaucrats should guard the bait yourself. Okay, so I have to build a vivarium building. Um, oh, okay, which I'm already working towards. 
Huzzah! Okay, got you. We're all done. Okay. Okay. Onward, my explorer. Marble to oh Jesus. Okay. You have discovered a colossal I remember these things. You have discovered a colossal alien fungus. The mountain sized specimen is largely inaccessible due to a treacherous landscape of surrounding rock. Hundreds of years of growth have disrupted the surrounding terrain, creating hazardous badlands and covering the fungus and airborne debris. It's unlikely that this large that a species this large would live in isolation. We should study any other any other specimens we can find. Clean. Okay, how do I clean you? how to clean a colossal fungus. Okay, turn 15. And what are the people landing? I get another virtue. Woohoo! Um, I should start working towards these things. Um, because once I fill this up, I get to do a thing with you over here. Um, free worker might be nice towards outpost growth. But I do want. No, I'm gonna go with the science because the science is the gift that keeps on giving. Everybody's landing. Free land has grown again. Oh, look at that. We're getting some nice spread. What are you building right now? A gunboat. Okay. Um. Really? Really, Manticores? Okay, first of all, we need to go back here. We need to get pick up an expedition module. I don't know how many opponents I have. Actually, I have two. Go here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven opponents. Uh, it's pretty classic for. Uh, for civilization games. Okay, so we are going to go here and we're going to get a generator going. Okay, element, I was complaining about having to play this in the window. It really isn't that bad. Um, at least you guys don't see the bar and everything. Okay, so you're going to build me a generator. I like how I could build farms in the middle of the ocean. Um, your little curious. It really does look like curiosity. It has the six we big wheels and the the head. I wish I could like rotate the screen. Can I? No. No, it's right that way. Too bad I can't like rotate around, but oh well. Okay, yay! Go back over here. What do we have here? Gold. Ooh, gold. Shiny gold. Yeah, gold probably is not. Well, it does have its use in electronics. I was going to say it's probably not that useful out here on Colony World where things like food are more important. But no, gold is important in like circuitry. Camera. Hello, camera. There we go. Thanks for that. Right, we go. Enter. Enter is the key I can press. When Coyote learned he was the only one of his kind on the new planet, his howl echoed through the rifts and off the distant hills. Okay, I would love an anthology of like mythologies taken to a colony world and adapted. Oh, that would be marvelous. 
That is so much my thing. Okay. Add a cube. We want a vivarium. And we are going to actually move you up. Until we're done with my gunboat. Okay. We'll finish the gunboat. Okay. Okay, so what are we okay, we're gonna work they wanted me to do pioneering, right? Um was it I think it was pioneering. I think I had a quest for pioneering. Yeah. Okay. Science Pioneering. Let's go next turn. Let's follow him. Where is he going? Next turn. I think there's a there's a something I can update at some point that can allow him to carry more than one expedition module. Um I'm gonna attack why am I gonna, I'm gonna attack you? I don't wanna attack you. I just wanna, I just wanna dig things up. You can go join yourself. Uh, you keep wanting me to build more generators. I would do that. Allows me to build stuff faster. I'll take that. Build a generator. I don't know, I'm sitting here with like my finger my my fingers on the WASD. I'm so used to that when I'm playing at the PC. So I don't know, I don't think Saturday's gonna be a normal night for me to be gaming. Uh, I'll probably go back to I mean before I was Tuesday, Friday, Sundays, and I like that. We'll see. You. Okay. Pathfind. Oh, see, there it is. That's what we're looking for. <clears throat> you were quite nice, also. And that question how we remember. Our relic has provoked an ideological split among our citizens. Some believe the Old Earth relic is instrumental as a source of solace for the grief people feel over their lost world. They want it left in reverent peace as a shrine. Others think it represents a valuable repository of traditional wisdom that must be studied and displayed publicly if humanity is to embrace their new home. Oh, this is tough. But we're pioneers that left Earth behind and came to a new world. We're looking boldly into the future. We can't stay tied to the past too long. So we're going to open it to the public. Oh, all relics free. Nah. We'll get culture. Culture! Relics will be made public resources accessible like any library for any citizen to examine their contents, which makes sense. I am a librarian. Free knowledge um, to examine their contents. Early reports indicate they are already spurring new insights into our way of life. Huzzah. Okay. I'm not. I'm kind of still torn about the whole quest kind of thing in Civilization games. I mean, I can see see the the narrative aspect that there and kind of having a new way of shaping your culture and kind of the directions that it goes in but at the same time civilization has never needed those like little micro games to kind of push you ahead there's always been the the basic um objectives of the game like supremacy through either diplomacy or culture i mean the newer games uh, culture in the newer games uh the space race or military might um or just playing trying to get to the end and surviving um so there's never needed to be i think those like extra little like pushes to do things um like me having to build a vivarium in um, 
in Freeland. It's it's not something that I needed a quest push to do. It's something I probably would have done anyway for the benefits that that gives to that city and to the whole, my entirety of my colony. Um, so I don't know. It's 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 something that um, I don't know if it's quite necessary. Okay, next turn. Expedition complete. Your expedition. Okay. Uh, thoroughly investigated the wrecked colony lander and found no survivors, but did find plans for the doomed colony's planned future. The details of the proposed settlement have provided your people with insights into how they might have lived, provided 30 culture. Yay, 30 culture. Okay, so yeah. Oh, is, that, is that enough to... Artifact discovered. High mass friction welder. Pristine. Construction equipment used to bond large sheets of metal without temperature manipulation. Really? Friction welders such as this were used in the construction of the seed chips as an energy efficient way to ensure structural stability. The device was notoriously dangerous, and after several reported in injuries, this equipment was operated solely by a specialized technician. View library. Ooh, it's an old earth. Okay. Uh, okay, that's right. I need like three of these things, and then I can research something else. Okay. I get it. Manticores, will you please move? I want that stupid pod. Uh, quest decision. Okay. Blood bank. Quest decision. Since opening our clinic, the populace has been split by an ideological divide. I have a feeling my, my populace is always divided. Sounds familiar. We go to a new planet, and we have all the same problems. That's what science fiction tells you. Securing and improving our new territory has put great strain on both our military and civil workforces, and both contend that the hazards they face should be offset by state-sponsored health care. Hell yeah. Our fledgling colony does not have the resources to do both. Which, then, has the greater need of aid? Well, considering I'm not doing much militarily right now, we are going to give... Civil workers. I mean, this is stuff that... Okay, so this is something that is going to provide a bonus that it's hard health is a hard thing to maintain in this game whereas like hit points for the city i can build defenses that can kind of really pump the city there and such this is something that you have to really work hard to try to maintain so getting kind of free points for that there for just for clinics yeah defense and security are vital but our colony must invest in its infrastructure if we are to truly thrive god is this saying a lot about our current society our civil workers are the engine that powers our growth and our economy. Providing them with care is a small price to pay to safeguard that progress. Okay, so you... I would like to go here, but you're being... Oh, wait, I, wait can I... Ooh, you can attack. Oh. Okay, I it does a lot more damage to me than I do to it. That isn't good. I might have to run up. Never mind. If the personality traits you currently have don't seem as useful anymore, you can exchange them for new ones. You have enough diplomatic capital to do this now. Visit the diplomacy section. Thank you, advisor. Okay, diplomacy, what do we have? Well, aren't you a fine-looking man? Manage my personality traits. It's weird. Okay, so what do I have? I have 136. You cost money. Okay, we can't... Okay. Back. My affinity. Nothing's really happening here yet. Um, you're 150. I can't do anything yet there. I can buy these. I don't have any trade routes. Yeah, I'll leave that alone right now. I need a new explorer. Build the variant. Because right now, well, we're gonna take my gunboat out, and we're gonna go get rid of these manticores. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> D 
see if we can dig out the manticores. I don't know if we can. done. Now we can start building some farms. Oh nice. Let's build a farm here. Oh, quest decision. Choose a station to charter. Several new ventures wish to establish their operation near our territory. They provide different services that may provide useful to us. Palantine provides four culture to any city that establishes a trade route. Lala Bella provides for culture. It doesn't matter. They're the same thing. Um. Go with Lala Bella because it's a funnier name. The charter was given to Lala Bella. You receive Lala Bella established near our territory. You have discovered Lala Bella. What? Lollabelle provides four culture to any city that establishes a trade route. Only one city per colony may trade with each station at a time. What? Okay. Then, how do I... Okay, I need to remember how to do the trade route. Trade, 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 trade. How do I do you? Right. There might be like different alien types. I'm gonna have to play around with that a bit. Um, <laughs> trade. <coughs> um, yeah, it doesn't help me. To establish trade, this needs a trade depot and an available trade route slot. Okay, so I need a trade depot for that. Okay. Okay. So I can do that, but I need time. Okay. Next turn. Oh, we got some alien drones. Um, geez. Marvel discovered. While probing this outer membrane, startled when it's discovered a nearby hydrocoral shudder shudder and twist. We don't know how, but these giant brains can be connected with the hydrocoral some form of sentry. We should study hydrocoral brain. Where? Where do we see a hydrocoral brain? Coral. Oh god, my poor gunboat is not doing well. Oh, wait, can I, I can move first, can't I? Let's move you here. So you're out of range of these guys. And we can... Ah! I'm still not dead. Um, I think lose my gunboat. <laughs> um, let's see. Visions in the storm. Vessels from a nearby colony have discovered a living monolith emerging from the ocean. It resembles the hydrocoral seen on this seen on this planet, but a bulbous protrusion stems from its armored base. Bright storm's electrical energy surge beneath its skin while probing its outer membrane. Okay, so that was that part. Okay, where? Seriously, Is something over here? I don't know. Oh no, that's that. Okay, I guess I need to find it. I don't know where it is, but we'll find it. First, I need to kill these stupid bees. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Ah! Seriously? Really? 
Okay, got pioneering. Yay! Build a car. Okay. The you universe is either in progress or in entropy. We choose progress. Good thinking. I like that. Okay. Research. Um. Okay. Let's see what our quest teller we need to do. Okay. Working on that. Okay, so we can get rid of that. Okay, uh, build a colonist unit, spores and harvest, clean giant fungi. How do I do that? I don't know, maybe I have to send the worker over there? Two resource pods. Okay, so there's nothing that actually is directing me about where I should go right now. My science advisor is saying I should do this. Um, culture's advisor is saying this. Submarines, laboratory, recycler, petroleum is nice. Petroleum well. Um, my economic wants me to do this. Tidal turbine, geothermal. Kind of nice. Um, <laughs> alien sciences, xeno fuels, you know, nursery, alien adaptations. Let's go this route. Or 52 terms, never mind. Um, let's go with you actually, you're 34. If there's anything, I'll be pretty quick. These things over here are pretty quick. Let's get chemistry, you're pretty quick. Okay, you're four away from there. Um, can I afford to buy you? Purchase. No, I can't afford to buy anything. Okay, um, we're going to add to Q, we're going to add a columns, because I'm still going to do my plan to kind of build something over on that other side. Oh, that's why. You'd actually probably be... Your eyes only, a mysterious encrypted transmission was received from an unknown origin. After some considerable effort has been decoded, the clear text reads, The Culper Cell requires infrastructure for covert operations. Should you choose to accept, you'll be rewarded in time. Okay. So we'll start working on computing then. Educational initiative. Okay, so we've got a new virtue. Yay! Um... This could be a free colonist, actually. That is actually kind of nice. Yes, because then I don't have to build one. With complete construction of the necessary machinery, search for an ideal location to build an outpost, preferably a location rich with food and resource, and send the colonists to that location. Once you arrive, set up the outpost. I want to do it over here. Not up here, I guess. I guess that does work up there. Is there any other places? Okay, so I'll send you up here. I'm probably gonna get attacked by bugs. I will go here actually. You probably get attacked by bugs on your way up there. Okay, so we're looking to find an outpost. Okay, we're working on it. We're working on it. Almost only for Varium. Good. Next turn. And my music stopped. Why did my music stop? Where are you? You're kite. Oh, kite. Okay. Vanishers. Okay. Hold on. 
On the morning after the Vivarium's completion, workers find it already filled with vanishers. In the night, it seems the local pack found their way into the building, gorged themselves, then fell asleep. Now cameras inside the facility show them nervously shuffling about the entrance. It would appear they are afraid of the sun. From studying their behavior, the beasts also seem to be quite docile. Bizarrely, the vats of processed meat inside the vivarium remain untouched. Every once in a while, individual vanishers are observed running their snouts over metal surfaces in the building. Maybe we'll learn more about these beasts someday, but for now, we must move them outside our city. Time to enlist the help of professionals. Build a ranger unit. I don't think I can yet. Um, science! Science! Okay, so I need to do physics next. Okay. I wish I could do a Q, so that when it finishes this, it goes to that. But I can't, so we'll just wait. Remember, I'm doing physics next. Uh, you're building yourself a new explorer. Okay, you. I'm going to generate there, but no, what we're going to do, actually, I'm going to go over here, and you're going to start building a road. Because that's what we do. We build roads everywhere. It needs order. Why? I already gave you orders. Why there? You told me here before. You know what? Screw you. We're going this way. Um. Worm killing. I traded my life... For my leg when I met the great worm. Now with all the fury and the courage the cripple can bring to bear, I hunt. I hunt the earth drinker. I hunt the worm. Oh, Moby Dick. Alien scare. Oh, you're going to kill my... Go back here. Get out of my way. Who needs... What are you? Oh, you're the alien. Oh, you're the alien. Oh, Jesus. You're just a wee bit scary. Who needs orders? Yours. Okay. I'm going to build a road. No, don't do that. You're gonna die in there. Oh, oh, that's not good. Seriously. Jesus, that's a big worm. Um, you are just going to sleep right now. Okay. I don't know what I said because there's this big worm over there. kind of good. But first, we're going to build a road. These roads are good. Roads are a sign. Oh, you're back again. You've discovered Shackleton. How did I discover Shackleton way over there? I don't get it, but okay. Get back to my little home here. Oh, wait. Is that the giant hydrocoral Oh, my Jeez, okay. found um let's skip a turn this time let me see if these guys if these guys attack me it's gonna suck if they do okay good you're back your explorer has noticed something strange nearby it could be a ruin some sort of wreckage or perhaps alien in nature you should order your explorer to the site and ex thank you Go away. Stop threatening me. No, no, no. Oh, fuck you. Bite you. Cancel last mission. Okay, you. Wait. Okay, yeah. Okay, you. 
you are moving. Ah, Jesus Christ. Um, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. That's a big nope. Gonna move you back here. We're just, we're gonna leave you alone. You're all good. You just stay there. Hello. Ryan Royal Demon Daily, how are you tonight? Okay. Next turn. And we got a giant siege room there, and we have a giant siege room up there. I just want to build my colony over here. These guys are bugging me. I'm gonna go take care of this. I'm uh, doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've played this game, so I'm still trying to figure things out. Four billion year old world's worth of resources shared among a handful of people. We're gonna make a fortune here. <laughs> Okay, I have to build submarines. Okay, so the next thing I need to build is physics because I need to build a ranger for a quest. Okay, you're going to build some more roads. And you, I guess that might be the place to go. Let's do that. Yeah, it's kind of, it's a relaxing game to play. So this is um, Civilization Beyond Earth. This is um, the idea that in Civilization, one of the um, uh, one of the mission thing or one of the ways you can win Civilization is by sending a, um, a spacecraft out to Alpha Centauri or out into the stars to build a colony. And so this is the idea that this is that continuation. This is that spacecraft reaches um, that alien planet. And you have to learn to survive. So it's civilization on an alien planet uh, in the future. So there's a lot of future technology um, and uh, and development uh, going on. Uh, aliens, as opposed to them there. Uh, apparently, I'm not doing very well against all the aliens here. Uh, there's a giant siege worm up there. There's a giant siege worm down here that are kind of scary. Um, there's a bunch of things over here that were killing me. I wonder if they're still there. So, this guy here is an explorer. He basically can go around and um, uh, and does more exploring. He has good movement through all terrains, and he can do things like in. Let me see if I have any. There's no other. Oh, like the ruins here. This is. You can see up in the thing here. It says it's progenitor ruins. If I find my map up here. Um, he can actually do an expedition on there and dig it up and give me something that he finds from there. Um, and then I have my colony here. He's going to be building a new colony over here. Um, this is my first colony, Freeland. Uh, there are other people. So there are other factions that have landed. So like, here's one. I haven't encountered them yet. So there's other colonies that have landed. So basically... At least in the story, the there originally was a game called Alpha Centauri, which was the original kind of idea of this. And the the um, the story that happened in there is that along the way from Earth to Alpha Centauri, uh, the ship split into different factions. And so when they reached the planet, they all all the factions kind of went off and made their own colonies. So they kind of war between the different ideologies. Uh, this one here was like the sponsors. So like who sponsored my part of the colony ship? And so I'm playing it's the Polystrelians. So it's Polynesia, Australia, New Zealand. Um, there's that big siege worm. Um, he and so what this does is I think this gives me two additional trade routes. Each each faction in here gets a different ability to play. Um, but yeah, eventually you get nukes. Uh, you can actually build like or orbital bombardments. Um, I tend to be a pacifist player, so I tend to avoid combat as much as possible. Um, we're gonna still build my road. 
So I don't tend to do the combat so much. Oh, what do we have here? We have a healer and a hydro coral. Okay. Alien detected near Freeland. Okay, so I can blow him up. He destroyed my improvement there, so it didn't make me very happy. Okay, so we're gonna find an outpost over here. I got a soldier unit. That's good. Which means you can take out these guys. Almost, yeah. And usually I try to make friends with the aliens, but they are being uh, a little bit of a pain. So one of the things that this game offers in some ways is that there's actually quests to do. Uh, so there's different like objectives to play beyond just the objective of trying to survive on an alien planet. So there's things like, this is a research thing, I have to research computing. Um, this is clean giant fungus, so like these guys here, um, I have to clean a bunch of these here and get some research or things that happen there. Um, vital Frontier, uh, quest decision, oh, this is this thing I just came up here. And then what happens is they'll give you a decision of things to do. Yeah, it's a big, I, I've played a bunch of Civilization games, and uh, it's always easy to start off like at the really easy levels, and then just kind of, uh, kind of continue from there. <laughs> Uh, I'm playing on normal here because um, I'm kind of a wimp at this game. Uh, there's people I know who play on like the deity, or in this here's Apollo. They have them named after all the different space missions. But this year offers a quest here. So the Vital Frontier, a scientist working at a vivarium, has made a profound discovery. The xenocyte culture she has developed have unique reactions to tissue from Earth organisms, and she claims they could be used to make Earth alien hybrid organs. Her colleagues condemn her work as dangerous and unethical, meddling in alien biology before we finally understand the consequences. They are threatening to shut the project down. Okay, so I have a choice now between, and this is what kind of determine how, kind of what direction, what path my civilization kind of goes down with different things. So I can continue the research. So all the Vivarians I build here, I get an additional science uh, research unit, or I can get food from them. Um, you know, I'm all about the progress in the science, and food I'm doing okay with, so we're going to actually continue the research. Um, and plus this will lead more to, I think, more harmonious living with the planet. The project is advancing. Early trials suggest these xenocytes could lead to strange new discoveries in science and medicine. <laughs> okay, can I attack you again? No, okay. Next turn. We're gonna actually do route two here. So like any good civilization game, you build roads between your cities so they can easily travel. <laughs> ah, we have some more guys up there. If the personality traits you currently have don't seem as useful anymore, you can exchange them for new ones. You have enough dip Thank you, advisor. But let's see, game. Okay, so now my unit here got upgraded, which means I can either heal him or I can make him more powerful. You know, I think we're gonna make him more powerful because this will then wipe these guys out. Kill the bugs. Nope, not yet. Almost gone. <laughs> This guy is just kind of like going in and out. There's another one up there. At some point, I should be able to bombard these guys. Okay, who needs you? Okay, you do. Okay, we're gonna go here. Jim Boomba. There we go. Okay, so you're gonna build. Whoop, that. I'm gonna build more road. And you're gonna go back here so you can rest up. <laughs> Ooh, I've got a skeleton up there. Alien skeleton. And so in the game, like these, this green misty stuff here. This is like alien fog that if I have, if I left my unit resting in there, they actually get injured. 
So I always kind of want to make sure I don't end my turns on there. Uh, these guys now, I have the ability that they can actually clean it. So like I'll move him into here and kind of clean this so I get a safe route between my two cities. How are you doing over here? Uh, these guys are still here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, research pod searched. Portable reactor, give me 60 energy. Okay, that's good. All pieces of the instrument. So I, there was a quest that I needed to find research pods. And um, I found one before, and here was the second one. Uh, and so then it gave me, those, I guess there was pieces of an instrument in there, which they gave me more science, which should have yep, finished my physics. Consider a simple problem, such as a navigation in a spaceship approaching light speed. Oh, we wish that were simple. Okay, so... You are. Actually, you're the Manticore. You're the guys that tried to kill me. They killed me the last time. That's not good. Um, can we, oh, we can probably go by. So oh, you're gonna go for that way. Let's do it. And you are going to fortify until healed. Okay, more research. So I got my physics. And then there's this very overwhelming technology map that this game has. Um, Pharma lab. This gives me good health. Cyto nursery. Marsh features. Oh, you're only 10, actually. You're actually probably a good thing to research. pick away at the... Um, oh wait, I don't need you to produce another colonist anymore. No, don't do this. Um, no, I don't want you to do this. Um, I want you to build... Let's see. Uh, we need to build the ranger. I hope I can entertain. Uh, who needs orders? Oh, my patrol boat. Oh, I already have a patrol boat. Okay, I don't need to build you then. Um, launch complex. Oh, that's good. Laboratory, trade. Oh, I need to do a trade depot. That allows me to build trade routes. Okay, patrol boat. Can I. Can I attack? Nope, you can't attack. Only the gunboat can attack. Okay. You're not as useful as I thought you'd be. Okay, so let's build another gunboat. Okay, so at least you can kind of patrol around and make sure I don't get any other people in trouble. Or we can just talk about see what this Hydra thing is. They're pretty powerful. Yeah, they're more powerful than I am. Okay, well, we can actually send you up to do some exploring. You're ready to go. Let's get rid of these guys. Oops. See, if I do this, I think. Oops. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I think. Oh, no, there's a miasma there. Okay, hold on. Okay, so we're going to move you into here. going 
to clear the miasma. How may the corporation serve you? Yeah, okay, now we have this is the first player that we other player that we've met. CEO Suzanne Fielding of the American Reclamation Corporation. Oh hi. Well, let's see. Covert operations. Okay, so she's gonna start spying on me. Okay. Confrontation. Oh. Okay, I see. Hello. How may the corporation you. serve you? Okay, let's see. I guess I can't look at any potential agreements right now. Um, add personality. Okay. Um, let's add some political. Can I buy you? Oh, I can't do that here. Okay. Resource pod. Inside the resource pod, you found a cache of laboratory equipment from old Earth made with precision techniques that are difficult to replicate on this planet. The equipment is eagerly welcomed by your scientists. Okay, and what did this say? Oh, that's, uh, so I missed what the diplomacy thing said. Okay. Uh, your science KPIs and the most important KPIs. Okay, so she likes Hola. my science research. That's good. <laughs> Giant fungus. Excavate giant fungus. Um. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Um. An exciting report from the field. Our colonists have discovered a second colossal fungus. The specimen appears to be younger than the first and more easily accessible. The team was able to reach its base and clear away some of its debris, revealing a beautiful bioluminescent interior. Overnight, our field team observed an amazing transformation. Exposed once more to the air, the giant fungus has sprung back to life. Glowing brightly, it released millions of spores into the surrounding countryside. Our biologists are studying those spores now, but have already requested more samples. We should continue to collect as many as we can. Okay, so we got our standard little collection quest. Uh, develop a virtue. Okay, so... This will give me another worker unit, which is always nice. But I think I want... Let's go here. Some more knowledge. Oh, and that gave me a free virtue. Oh, that's the American people. That's how I encounter them. Aha! I get it. Okay, that was a quest update. Okay, that's that. Okay. Um, show the field quest. Nothing yet. Uh, completed quest. Okay, that's it. Okay. <laughs> I need to build a ranger. Okay, so I'm working on that. Worm killing. I'm working on that. Study hydrocoal brains. Okay. Research computing. I'll work on that. Okay. That's all we have right now. Who's doing what? The soldier's doing you. Okay. Yep. Okay. Something happened there that did not play the way it should. Okay, so you are going to actually increase that. So you're becoming quite a powerful little unit. I'm going to move you back into here. Ooh. 
Research pod. Yay. Oh, and here are the American people. American Reclamation Corporation. Why do you keep resting in the miasma? New Babylon. Okay, so you clean that. So we are going to build more road. And you're in rest. We are just about ready to grow into a full outpost here. Sunken vehicle. Actually, I'm going to take you. I'm going to move you over here. What do you do? Plant it. Okay. Now, unlike the Civilization games, this one here, I could actually build cities out into the ocean if I wanted to. Which is really kind of cool. I wonder why they didn't get that. Resilin. Hmm. Looks like they're poking their way around. Okay, quest Our complete. Vanishers. Into a bustling city. It may be time to build a to found an... Go away. Okay, since the vanishers have were first captured, scientists have learned more about their odd habits. The meat laid out as bait inside the vivarium remained untouched, but nearly all interior metal was polished clean. Close analysis revealed reveals something startling. Nearly all metal on this planet is covered in near microscopic insects, termite-like termite beings that slowly digest it layer by layer. Amazingly, the giant vanisher bees seem to misunderstand seem to be misunderstood bottom feeders. This discovery has also been reinforced by the soldiers hired to move the beasts. When entering the vivarium, these giant aliens ran to the corners of the room. However, when hunks of scrap metal were thrown in its center, they approached eagerly. Our rangers seem to have grown quite fond of these docile beasts. I spelled docile wrong here. Maybe one day they could even accompany them in the field. <laughs> oh, good for them, actually. Okay. Um, and I research genetics. You go to war with the soldiers you have. Make sure those are the soldiers you want. Cool. I wonder what life was like on Earth when the whole atmosphere was breathable. Okay, and so there is this whole affinity. Where is the affinities? Um, up somewhere. There we go. So there's this whole affinity kind of thing where, depending on the direction, so there's the um, the purity, which is aiming for kind of human control over the the planet and getting rid of the alien life. You have supremacy, which I quit certain everything with that one and such and then harmony works means working with the humans and so what happens is as i get to different levels i can i get different abilities depending on which direction i kind of go along with this and what i decide to unlock uh, so right now my affinity right now is leaning towards harmony but i'll get things that happen in the other directions Actually, the, the nice thing about being in the oceans is they end up being really easy to defend because they can only be attacked by ships and, and naval units. Though, um, from Civ 5 onwards, you no longer need to build transports to transport military units, so like everybody can become a ship unit. Um, the downside is, is that you can't get in as much territory in the oceans. So you usually tend to have, like, a, if I built, like, a city in the ocean here, I can only get a certain amount of territory around it, whereas on the land, I can spread a lot further. So it's the things to kind of balance in between um, building in the city or in the ocean and getting better defense or building on land and being able to conquer more territory or hold on to more territory. As you can see, like this year, this would be about the limit that I would be able to have, I think, on a uh, ocean city, whereas free land here is spreading out kind of arms everywhere. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's a good way of putting it. Okay, so now I need to research something new here. Economic advisor wants me to do geophysics. 
which is actually good stuff. Oh, I need to do the computing for the quest, but that's 42 turns. Oh, wow. That's a lot of turns. Anything else that's, like, relatively cheap? Engineering's pretty cheap. Oh, this will give me a combat rover, which will allow me to attack some things better. Like, get rid of that worm that's driving me nuts. Everything else is really, really expensive right now. Yeah, we'll go engineering. We'll get the cheap things out of the way. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, and so now what happens is because I got that one point of affinity upgrade, I can actually upgrade the units that I have. Um, and what happens is you can actually upgrade the units into different directions based on the affinities that you have. So, like if I move this way there we go so you can see actually right now I have my normal little kind of marine soldier here but I go up here he becomes a brawler and now he starts looking green um, if I went the other direction actually if I go like something like here you can see like the military kind of looks that direction um, Helion this is combining supremacy and uh, uh, and affinity or harmony on there Disciple. So there's a variety of different directions that I can actually. But I think I can just do. The, okay, here we go. Um, okay, I, I can't afford this yet. Okay, so that's what I need. Affinity level six. But here, I can then choose which upgrade I want. I want. I can either heal, plus four strength, or fifteen percent when attacking. Actually, the healing's nice. And then I can do my patrol boat. So that's melee, naval range against submarines. Uh, I'm gonna go range. I'll probably have some other ships. So we're gonna go with you here. So the marine gunboat. So now, like the I can I, the thing went from being a patrol boat to being a cutter, and went from a soldier to being a marine. Order. So I have my rangers here. Uh, you're not that strong, but you have a good range on you. Can you actually... Oh, so close. I wonder, actually, if I move you over here... Then could you reach him? Because then we can actually, like, bombard him a lot more. <laughs> A basic satellite still intact, enough rocket fuel to reach escape the velocity. A free solar collector is now ready for launch. Okay. So, one of the things about this being a space related game is I can. Ready to launch. Okay. How do I launch you? Um, let's see. There must be a way to launch it. Don't you? Oh wait, I think I need to go to here. We go. Oh. Okay, I'll figure it out. Let's just get. Ooh, what do we got here? Hydro coral brain. Okay. Okay, so oh, here we go. I have to launch. Okay, so launch, and then what happens is I can choose the area that it goes in and the area that it affects. So, we're going to put you, actually, right over there. <laughs> and, so if I go out to the... We're in, okay, we'll go to orbital view. You can kind of see... Do we see it up here? No, okay. Sometimes I think you can see it, but... Um, oh, here it is. Yeah, here we go. There's my little solar collector. And so what he's doing is... Um, actually, what is the solar collector doing? That's a good question. So I get plus one energy on tiles I own. Okay, so just getting more energy, which is the, the similar to the gold that you had in Civilization um, in here. <laughs>
eventually I will kill this thing. Can you reach it now? Oh, you're out of moves. Never mind. Uh, we'll go move here. We'll almost be done with this road. Okay, so study high. Okay, here we go. A second hydrocoral brain has been found. Comparing its electrical activity to the first site reveals that both specimens are mysteriously in sync. These electrical storms, once assumed to be random, seem to occur in both specimens at the same time. We knew these beings were related to hydrocoral, but now they appear to communicate with each other. Further study is certainly required. So this is kind of more collection quest. So I have to go find eight of the fungo, the giant fungus things. And I need to go find more of these hydrocoral brains. I'm pretty certain. Yeah, more hydrocoral brains. <laughs> okay, these American resource people are really sending out a lot of units. We got some alien hydrocoral. Okay. Ooh, Jim Boomba is now okay, actually. Maybe, oh, we'll go more juke. Oh, you're still out of range. Really? After all of that? Can I move you over to there? Yeah, let's move you over to there, and then we can see. We are going to run away as much as we can. Get some marines. Let's set you up here. Oh, more alien bugs. Oh, I need to build something in Jim Boomba. Booba, you are going to build me a clinic. So we're going to do the old earth relic first. Because we like the culture. Um, oh, and you're all gone. Huzzah! to build an expedition on the sunken vehicle here. So explorers can go out and they can actually do, they can dig expedition on things. Where are you guys? Kelonia. Hmm. The other nice thing about the ocean cities actually is that th there tends to be a lot more resources out in the ocean also, like different resources. So you can take advantage of those in ways that you couldn't in um, other Civ games. So there, there's advantages and disadvantages to doing certain strategies, like with everything. An agreement with ARC for conservation areas is available. Okay, let's go take a look at this. Hola, how can I help you? We're going to discuss potential agreements. What's the deal? Um, plus one for strategic resources. Well, let's, let's do this here. I get plus one, they get plus 15 per turn. Okay. Yep. Never mind. Okay. So I'm losing some of my culture because I wasn't earning 15 before. I was earning like plus five. Oh well. I can afford it for a while. <laughs> okay. We are going to let you. Celeste. Inside the resource pod, you find a basic satellite. And okay, I got another solar collector. <laughs> that is always a perk. Oh, these guys are bad. Maybe I 
we should send... Oh, yeah, you're pretty strong now. Maybe I should send you down here to take care of this guy. Okay, so we are going to... Launch you to outer space. Uh, there are, um, okay, I can actually go along some of the science routes here. So things like alien biology, um, where is it? There, there's actually, here we go. Um, actually, where is it? Because there, there are actually, like, technologies I can go down that actually start working on, um, working with the aliens. Alien scientists here. Alien ethics. So this allows me to do like Xeno Sanctuary and mindset. So I can actually start building the alien units, just like I would build my normal military units. Um, and then there's things like they won't attack me um, as much. So there are there are technologies um, that I can go down that allow me to kind of do those different things. They have a octopus. And there are win factors. Come here to the victory. So there's there's bun there's five different ways to kind of like win the game here and such. So there's emancipation, which are you gonna tell me? Actually, let's see if it tells me what the victory factors are in here. Diplomacy stations. Game concepts. Victory. Um, okay, so we have the Emancipation Victory, um, Special Victory for Supremacy. I construct a warp gate called the Emancipation Gate and send a Liberation Army back to Old Earth. So I actually go and conquer Earth from the other planet here. Uh, contact Victory, Contact with a Benevolent Advanced Alien Race. Um, transcendence means that I actually uh, mind meld with the aliens in a way and actually like take humanity to the next level of evolution so there are uh, like a bunch of then there's domination defeat everybody there promised land um, construct a warp gate bring the population dying earth to the planet and so we wipe out all of the other aliens and make it a new earth so there's a variety of different uh, ways to kind of win the game um, I think I'm going to aim for something along the Harmony the Transcendence route, simply because it's a very science-heavy kind of Harmony way to go, uh, at least in this playthrough. You're going to kill my little folks? Why? I didn't do anything to you. I was running away. I think you can. F oh, you can finally hit him. Jeez. That's some rifles to be able to fire across that way. Um, okay, you're almost gone. Run away. Force is a valuable resource. Pardon me, I may be able to assist you. Uh, thank you. Okay, so you can now build trade capital. Here we go. So we'll do you also. Oh, you're running away again? Fine. Uh, let's put you on alert again. Excavate. Okay, so that did... I think I'm at now two. Or one of eight. Okay, because this would count it as one. Okay, so there's one of eight. Uh, we're working on you. I'm going to work on you in a bit. I need to work on you. I think failed. Okay. Okay. Marines. Goodbye, 
Hydra Coral. Salt. Oh, I can go over here and say hi to these people. Let's do that. Lots of petroleum. There's some ocean vents. Countless dives to the sunken vehicle have brought back details of the bizarre alien race. Analyzing the vehicle's construction has given our colony a rare glimpse, another typo, there's a lot of these, into the minds of another sentient species, providing 36 culture. And culture is what allows me to build more virtues. Okay, so I think you have built a road between all of my cities. Yay. You are going to build... I want you to build a farm or a plantation. Either way, I have to cut down the forest. So you are... There's fruit there. Ooh, let's cut down the forest. Can I... Oh, actually, I'm going to go over here and clear this. Hmm. I forgot... Oh. So, like, uh, since I did the expedition here, um, you notice I now have zero expedition modules. So in order to replenish those, I actually have to send them back to the city. Be closer to actually send you here. Not much, but thank you. Your explorer has noticed something. Thank you. Where? Oh, there's another one of these worms. Okay, uh, I feel I need to dig this up at some point. Okay, so I've met Al Fala. Greetings from the people of Al Fala. I am Arshia Kishk of the Golden Shah. Very well. It's nice to meet you. That must be who up there. Okay. Stepan versus the New World. One morning in the capital, a torn letter is discovered addressed to the New Kings. The anonymous note describes an illegal slave trade being run inside our colony and begs its leaders for help. We have not seen the sun since our landing. We don't know where we are, but if you don't send help soon, we won't be anywhere for long. Stepan. If this organization is real, and we must move quickly and quietly to learn the truth, at the same time it seems unlikely where those, where could these slaves have come from? All of our colonists were chosen on Earth and accounted for upon our arrival. Build a spy agency building. First, we're going to kill this worm. Is it not dead yet? Really? Okay, so what do I need to do to build a spy agency building? Um, okay, so you're not in there. What do I need? Three spies. Okay, I need computing. Oh, we're back to that computing again. Okay. So 35. Okay, so after we're done with our engineering one turn, we'll go work on this. Which I need for the quest anyway. So you are going to clear this. And you're just going to continue exploring. Ooh, what do we have here? We have. What are you? Alien Kraken. And alien Hydrocurl. Oh, dear god. Run away! Your patrol boat's not really that strong. Oh. As I was saying. The technology traits you currently have don't seem as useful anymore. You can exchange them for new ones. Go away. Uh, instruct the children not to dream of toys or sweets. Instruct them to dream of infrastructure. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, okay, let's see. Commercial lobby. So we'll gain energy yield. Okay, I can't afford that. Energy maintenance for military units reduced. Uh, yeah, okay, we're gonna work on that right now. Um, but 
we are going to work on computing. <laughs> yeah, it did actually did quite a bit of damage. Oh well, yeah, I would die if I tried to fight. Continue tried to fight this thing. So we are going to try to get you away. Oh, can't move into there. Yeah, we're gonna just W rest for a bit. This guy to come back. Oh, you guys are ready. Decisive victory. I'm sure I'm gonna get there in time. I'll move you over here. For sure, I'm probably gonna get killed by him next turn. But... I have him trapped. on the run. And love the city killer. It looks like the uh, the Thresher Maw from um, Mass Effect. Worm killing. Some might have found the last moments of the beast life repulsive, but as purple and red gore rained down upon us, I rejoiced. This day I am whole once again. I receive a whole bunch of stuff. Now, we need to repair that. What you're going to do when you're done over there. Oh, get another virtue. Yay. Um, finishing expeditions. Actually, I can use another worker unit right now. Oh, it's orders. We need orders. How about you go repair this? You are going hunting. As are you, actually. Oh, I have a free worker unit. Yay! Um, I'm going to come over here and build a farm. Uh, bluish circle or bluish provide your resources. Um, which um, uh, up here this year? This is uh, diplomacy. So this is diplomatic. So this is what I can do to like do foreign policy or like. So if I click into here, this is I can actually talk to. Hola. The other people, and I can use it as diplomatic capital up top right. Yeah, so I can use it to discuss diplomatic capital, and like I can buy agreements. So like here, um, I could. So there's this. I can do this. Open up this agreement here, and um, so my capital energy yield would increase by twenty percent. So I'd get basically more gold in my capital, but I would need to spend two hundred and fifty diplomatic capital, and then twenty five per turn during the course of the agreement. So I can't afford that. I mean, I could afford this one here, um, but right now I'm actually in a negative because of my other um, agreement I have going on. If I look at my active agreements, so I'm getting plus one science from strategic resources. So that's any of like the, the farms or the, uh, the mine that I have in the, the quarry, um, but I'm paying 15 per turn to kind of keep this alive. So, so this is just another type of currency that I can use for a different aspect of the game. Uh, energy, this is like my gold. My health actually is not doing that well. Um, why not? Probably because you need to build a clinic. And you, after you build the gunboat, and, and that, I'm gonna have you build a cyto nursery. And a pharma lab. I'm gonna get my health back up. 
And so every so often I get a thing like this year, like respect went up because my population is growing. She, uh, she likes that. Um, but another civilization may not like that. Um, I had one in the last game I played where the uh, the person was really upset the fact that I didn't have any military. Um, and he kept like taunting me about it. And then finally he declared war on me. So then I built up a giant military and destroyed him. That's what he gets. Storage solution. The construction of the trade depot is practically complete. While it is currently operational, there is a disagreement between the engineers about the intended use of this and future complexes. Some argue that it should be finalized primarily as a storage space, while others contend that it should be streamlined it for trade. Okay, so this would give me plus one production. That's actually kind of nice. This would give me plus two energy. I wish they didn't blur this out, so I can't. So I'm plus 12 energy right now. I think I'm doing okay. I have 324. So we're going to go with production, because production is something that's good in the long term. And I can do things that will raise my money more um, in other places. The depot is first and foremost a depot. By completing the compl complex as a storage space, we can store more material for use in our colony's production. Okay. Building. Oh, trade convoy, okay. Next turn. Okay, Explorer. Okay, so he's picked up a new expedition module. And since I cleared the miasma here, we can send him in here to do an excavation. build me a farm. Okay, Manticores, I have come for you. You've destroyed two of my units in the past. Now you are no more. Ha 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 ha. Während wir gemeinsam voranschreiten, werden die, die unsere Vision teilen, einen hartnäckigen Verbündeten finden. Sure thing. On behalf of Integer, I greet you and wish your colony luck. And if we can learn to work together, neither of us will need it. That's a good way of thinking. Very well. I'm zooming close. We'll see this battle. Excuse me. I have important information for you. Uh, thank you. Go away. Okay, so die, wolf beetles. Really? You didn't die yet? Okay, repair. Oh, this isn't good. I need to probably do something about this agreement. Can I not? Hola, how can I help you? Uh, this, this can't do any of that there. Oh, I'm gonna run out of. This isn't good. Oh, and I can also use this diplomatic capital to actually do like my personality traits. Like I can actually like right now there's character, political, domestic, and so like right now I have two free trade slots, and then I can kind of increase the number of trade slots, or I can then open up this here which gives me some additional kind of abilities on there so yeah so that's the uh the diplomatic capital um that i can use this is in terms for aliens oh. oh good they're finally dead station discovered golden bell temple and you 
going to run back over here and heal. Um, okay, Rangers. We're looking for the bad guys over here. Well, where did they just launch? Okay, so they just launched something up into their orbital area. Back in here, because you're a little bit damaged. You're good to go now. Excellent. Back to the exploring. Yep. Aha! Alien wolf beetle. experience, okay. Okay, so she likes that. Good boat, yay! We can, actually you're relatively powerful, we could probably take you out to go check out what's going on over here. And a cavernous labyrinth underneath the progenitor ruins. When plumbing the depths, they found a few dozen interactive devices being glowing stone. Excuse me. Um, while plumbing the depths, they found a few dozen interactive devices made of glowing stone that dissolved a few minutes after being touched. The rest of the maze was silent and empty. The knowledge the team gained from the devices illuminates parts of a distant technology called astrodynamics and our scientists acquire preliminary research on it. Yeah, sometimes this will actually like give you like free research. Um, who are we attacking? Oh, we're attacking you. Well, goodbye, alien rippers. Oops. That's what you get for attacking me. Sorry, but we do have standards here. Okay, oh, you are. Oh, we're gonna have you rest. Can you not rest in the city? Okay, we'll put you over here. Explorer now needs to move back and get another expedition module. A few updated. Okay, we're gonna make you a little bit more powerful. No, I'm just gonna put you on automated explorer. Oh, and you move right into where like things can attack. Derelict settlement. Oh, okay. Well, there's a place to send my explorer. that kind of has cropped up that I need to go investigate. Oh, we can have you go check that out. Oh. 
guys are not doing well. to have you come back to here. And you're gonna rest up until you can go out again. Every so often, how many nation groups are in this? So, they're right now in this game. Um, if I go back to here. Okay, so on here you can see there's me and there's about seven others on there. Um, there are... Let's see if they tell me about the different factions here. Um, I have the expansion. There's there's the Beyond Earth and then there's the um, Planet Rising or something um, expansion that I have on here. So that opens up... Um, so you can see the, the sponsors here. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 in here. Uh, some of them got added by the expansion that I have in here. Um, and then they're appropriate leaders. So there isn't as many as there is for like Civ 5 or Civ 6 now. They just keep, seem to keep adding things into there. Um, I don't have Civ 6. Um, it was actually the first Civilization game that I didn't pre-order since 3. Didn't I kill you guys? I killed you guys. I guess you just place came back. Nope. And we can. Okay, so I can either heal him or I can make him more powerful. Make him more powerful. Um, and we will. Take out. This guy. Your recent combat matches have agitated the alien life. Unlike animals on Earth, aliens on this planet operate as a hive mind. Attacking one alien could lead to anger and reprisals from aliens all across the world. Yes, they were attacking me first. Four was really great. Four was the, the first one that really started offering the ideas of culture. Um, and in, in territory, it was the first one that, like, where you had to um, have, like, resources inside your territory uh, in order to be able to actually mine them or use them. Um, but you could also build things out. You could build colonies out and try to get it within your territory. It was, it was really interesting. There was some interesting things they added into that. Though, that they expanded into five. And then six just went down a completely different road. Um, this one here is very similar. This was built on the engine for five in a lot of ways. So... Having the uh, having the really close kind of zoom in kind of look that you have there, um, and things like the the culture spreading and diplomacy is very much five. Um, I liked four. Um, four was a big change in the the way the game played, um, and I, I thought I, I really really enjoyed it. Five. Um, base 5 is okay. I didn't have the expansions for a while, and then I got them cheap on Steam, and it's a really overwhelming game to play, like, right at the beginning. I mean, you get in, and you're just bombarded with lots of, like, memos and messages and things that you have to pay attention to. Reginaldo, Leonardo, Pedro, Boulevard, de Alencar, Arripe. Arripe. Oh my gosh, that is quite a name. A Supreme Commander of Brasilia. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, too. Um, so. okay. You're almost healed. Okay, so where can we send you? Let's see if there's any more of these. Oh, there's a whole section down here. Oh my gosh, I thought I was kind of like on one of the polar coasts, but no. Kind of like right in the middle of this map. Which actually I think is a good thing. Let's move you up to here so we can clean this out. Um, oh, that's not going to be good. And we're going to do giant fungus. 
Jimboomba is doing pretty well. I didn't name this, by the way. This was an automatic name. <laughs> send you hunting again. You are going to continue resting. Tree convoy, yay! What happened to the station? There was a station over here. Oh, maybe I just can't see it. Can the trade convoys not... Ah, here we go. Um, stations. Really? There's only New Babylon left? Okay. Okay, so now what happens is this guy here will actually now travel between there and wherever New Babylon is. Um, up here. And it can actually get attacked along the way, which isn't always nice. I need to... Almost getting computing, okay. I didn't know there was a Sith game on the phone. Uh, it's worth checking out. Thank you. needs to rest. Crash satellite. Oh, there's lots of things going on over here. This may be helpful. Go away. I'm already working on a negative. Oh, God. Agreements will be canceled. Yeah, I tried to cancel it before. Uh, yes, because I can't afford it. Sorry. How do I know? Okay. Oh, let's investigate this thing. Okay, you are going to go ahead and build a quarry here. Because I wanted to do that for a while. So I think we're doing pretty well. I wonder why the music just keeps cutting out. Uh, three of eight, okay. Frax and eggs, Oh, I remember hearing about that. Okay, yeah. Right. Oh, you're, 
saying, explore. Oh, these guys. They're kind of serious, aren't they? You are going to run away. You are going to try to get over to here, because I want you to build an expedition there. One of the nice things that they did for five on is they started allowing cities to be able to defend themselves. So you no longer had to build a city and then build a unit to defend it like immediately. Um, they can actually bombard and they have their own, um, it's kind of hard to see because of this icon here, but they, they actually have their own strength now. So it ends up, okay, yeah, over here you can see 21.6 strength um, or, uh, I can't see because of the solar eclipse. Yeah, there we go. 34.2. So it's been kind of nice that they've been able to, like, they saved you from having to do that tedious of build a city and then, like, anxiously wait to build a, um, a defensive unit. Or the strategy I would do is I would build a, like, a settler and a defensive unit and then send them out together so that there was already one in place. Defensively. Check that thing out. Um, okay, so we cleared that. That's good. I'm gonna go down and we're gonna clear the asthma here. Oh, putting another virtue. Yay! Should I finish out this first one here? Um, 15 build speed for tile improvements. That's actually kind of cool. And so I go, okay, so because now I have like all these five here and such, I now get plus 10% growth. Is this any bombarded for? I don't remember. It's been a while since I've played. I was actually planning to give my copy of 4 to my nieces, actually, because I'm building them a new computer. They're 10 and 6, so they're like right about the age where they might get a kick out of the game. Or they will at some point. Um, but I don't remember. Maybe, maybe it was. Maybe 4 was the one that started offering that. I know 4... There was, it offered started offering ship bombardments that you no longer had to be right next door to do ships, and ships couldn't take cities. Um, so I can't remember if they did before anyway. Let's see. I'll try to go take a look at this uh, Hydra Coral Overmind. strong. I don't want to continue trying to fight you. Go down this way. Maybe it did. I can't. I'll, I'd have to go back and look. So now we're fighting the Pan-Asian Cooperative. This is actually the group that I played last time I played. Uh, they have actually, every, every city gets a free wonder, which is a really nice perk. Um, that we have our coming. Thank you. I welcome you too. Actually, speaking of, what are we building here? We're building a pharma lab. Okay. Your explorer has noticed something. Well, thank you, explorer. What the thing that I actually have you sitting on? Let's go to this one here. What is that? Derelict settlement. Um. Uh, let's see. Repair for 
this already. Recycler. Oh, that's kind of nice. That gives me some additional. Let me do that. Launch complex. Oh, let me do that one. And we'll do some laboratory for some more science. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a matter of like getting jumping out to them quickly, um, and and just like focusing a ton of resources on there. So it's always good to try to develop a city that has like a ton of development. Like this one here is able to. Where are you? This one has fourteen. If I wanted to, I could. I guess I could really not really change you much to focus on one or the other. So he's doing 14, this one's doing 4, so like most of my heavy construction will happen in free land uh, because I can just build things a lot faster. And it gets things from like the headquarters is helping that, the trade depot. Um, okay, so we're going to do... Oh, that's why I can't go look at the hive mind. You're inside another person's territory. That makes sense. Okay, so we'll just go put you back over here. Okay. Can we go kill those guys now? Okay, you put the quarry. That's good. As a result of their work with the native ecosystem, the stewards of our Cyto nursery have a unique understanding of our alien home. Their knowledge of alien mutation would prove useful in a variety of sectors. Our colony's military education and industry would especially benefit from collaboration with the Cyto nursery, but practically its staff would only have enough time for one. Okay, so military would mean plus 5% military for military unit from Cyto nurseries, or plus one production. Ooh. This actually, because the thing is, is, this here would be just helping military units, and right now it's not much more than plus one for either of them. Well, yeah. Whereas this here would be plus one for everything, so that's probably the better, even on the long run. One, but yeah, we'll go with that. Um, they can actually consume quite a large area. They can claim a lot of territory. I mean, you can look at how much this here is reaching out, but... Oh, okay, I can actually I can actually buy out more of these territories. So you can actually either choose to just naturally expand or actually buy them itself. Oh, boy, this one's pink. Um, but yeah, they can actually go... They can keep reaching out as far as um, they naturally do. Um, or not as naturally, they can just keep expanding. Um, and then what happens is you'll start running into, like if I was a neighboring city, if I was over here, they would actually start butting into each other and I could start pushing into their territory or they can start pushing into mine or I can block theirs from expanding. So if I built something here, we could start kind of clashing like right around here. I should maybe start building something on that island or maybe on this area up here. about time to start thinking of expanding some more. Mm, what we'll do? We're doing that. Let's build a cyto nursery and a vivarium. And then we will build you have you built a colonist. take you. I could definitely take you. If the 
personality traits you currently have don't seem as useful anymore, you can exchange them for new ones. Thank you, thank you. Probably not making the aliens very happy with me right now. Alien nest discovered. There. Oh, over there. Aha! That's where they all keep coming from. things more than I have. Okay. That's what's happening. I think they're going up. It's doing okay so far. This may be helpful. Oh, thank you. You keep telling me the same things. We'll see what I can do when I get the next turn. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, they're like scouts, and they can do they can do the expeditions, um, and they can actually fight too. So they're a little bit better than scouts. So like he is, he has actually like a three strength, so he can actually do some fighting. Um, but yeah, they're very much like the the scouts. Kind of your, you send them out to do your exploration and to discover things. But they're the only ones that can do the expeditions, uh, which is like the like unburying things or discovering things. Okay. Good. Finally. Go to spy agency. Board. I love computers because they automate the tedious stuff and give us more time for important things like market manipulation. Missile rover. Oh, that's nice. Spy agency. Okay, so I'm gonna build a spy. We agency. fled Earth because it was getting worse faster than we could fix it. So now I've moved down another path for the supremacy over here. Uh, okay, so what am I going to research next? Transcendental math. Um, actually, what do we have quest-wise that I need to work on? See, this is one of, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of torn about the quests in a lot of ways. I, I, I don't think that necessary in the terms of the game. Because uh, there's already your victory conditions, things that you're aiming for. You're looking to survive and try to get one of these here. But at some points, they also kind of help guide you in uh, things you're doing. So um, I don't think I have any quests that are... Okay, both of these need a spy agency building that are driving like a discovery kind of thing. So I can pretty much work on what I want to work on. What's cheap? Ballistics are cheap. Station Sentinel. battery. Ooh, that's nice. That improves my city defenses. Energy maintenance. Oh, that's aquatic. Defensive perimeter. 26 for robotics. Uh, I'm going more towards the harmony. I 
do you have genetics? We'll do alien life forms. Oh, so okay, here we go. This is kind of answering the question that you had earlier um, about leashing alien units. Uh, so what happens is I can actually take control of them and actually make them... Um, so this would be the explorers being able to be used. Um, but it will actually allow me to kind of take control of them and actually use them as allies. Uh, is there terraforming? I know it does open up at some point. Um, that I can actually start changing the land. Uh, I can't remember exactly where it is though. Well, we have planetary engineering. Artificial evolution. I think this is... Yeah, this is what I think I need to do to get the, uh, the transcendence victory. Yeah, let's go with alien life forms. Let's get the alien preserves and then I can actually leash things on there. Um, can I not? Pillage. Oh. Artifact discovered. A liquid substance in constant flux. The heterophobic solution somehow combines two fluid substances which are at the same time attracted to and repelled by each other. Okay. The solution is unstable and appears to be in a constant state of dissolution and reconstitution. Interesting. So what happens is this allows me, I actually have, right now I have two artifacts that I can actually start thinking like I can combine them. And this will produce a whole bunch of things. I get a third thing and it might even produce additional research on there. So I'll wait for a third thing to come along and see what I can do with that. Um, one down from genetics and one right. Let me go take a look at that. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Um, I could start working on that now. Let's see what that gives me. Guyan Well. Floatstone Quarry Terrascape. Yeah, right now we'll stay with the we'll stay with the alien life force. We'll go look at that next. Yeah, I made these guys really pissed off. Um, who's the greater threat? You're the greater threat. Because I destroyed their home. They did not like me destroying their home. Well, what's up here? I'm exploring with like my slowest units, but it's kind of tedious. I'm curious. Uh, there was an option in. Civ 5, or even Civ 4, I think, actually, that allowed me to turn on a clock. Because sometimes it's hard to get... Yeah, you can't see it in here. Oh, well. Okay. It was kind of sometimes nice just to have a, a, like a clock actually visible in the game to know what time it was. It is just after 12. You have should... several artifacts in your library. Yes, can... thank you. I don't need that. So I should probably head to bed soon. Okay, we are going to build a petroleum well. This cutter is actually holding out a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, so, oh, I guess I did get that trade route going. That's good. So you're good to go. Let's send you into here. So I'm going to go see we're at turn 98. Let me get to turn 100, and I think I'll call it a night. Uh, 
Okay, so we've got crash satellite, uh, boost of 80 production. Oh, that's good. That would help me finish whatever I was working on. Boomba has expanded. Oh, these guys are so not happy with me. I need another hydro coral thing. I think that is two. Oh, not yet. Okay. Did we not research that? Oh, see, they built a wonder. We are just going to rest. And I think I'm going to call it a night. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll probably come back to this game again some point in the future. Um, uh, I'm going to try to get back into a re regular streaming schedule. I started off last year doing really well, kind of three nights a week, and then it kind of fell off. And uh, I just kind of want to get back to it. So, But uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Um, and thanks for all the questions. It's been kind of nice to talk to somebody. So I hope you have a good evening and find something else relaxing to watch tonight. So I'm going to save and I'm going to save as Twitch stream two. And good night.